And now, your first alert weather. Let's start with the radar. I've combined the surface analysis with it so you can see where the showers are. We have a lake wind advisory that's been issued for the American Falls Reservoir. It's right there under that thing on the screen and uh, down to Pocatello all the way up to Shelley and Firth. Now some scattered showers associated with this weak trough that is uh, to our north brings some shower activity to Island Park and we do have the slightest chance of seeing an afternoon shower thunderstorm isolated and partly cloudy in Jackson. Winds are brisk out of the southwest at 18. And with that being said, we'll usher in some chilly air tonight. We have a frost advisory that is in effect for the Upper Snake Plain. Mostly cloudy and 53 in Rexburg, but I see some blue sky there amongst the 16 mile an hour winds transitioning to 24 miles an hour directly out of the west at PIH, the International Jet Port connected to everywhere. Pocatello, baby. Mostly cloudy, surrounded by the mountains there, and we've got some stiff winds there in Burley, 17 miles an hour, constant, gusting up to 35, and there's the lake wind advisory for the America Falls Reservoir. We've seen a 32 mile an hour gust in the last hour, 30 in Idaho Falls, and up to 26 mile an hour gust already experienced in Rexburg. So that means we're going to clear things out of here. These winds are out of the southwest. Now with that cold air moving in, we do have a frost advisory that we put into effect for the majority of the Upper Snake Plain and the American Falls Reservoir. So tonight, 34, 37 degrees. Uh, wrap up your tender plants and make sure the pets are taken care of. Vipercast has us with the trough to the northeast, a few scattered showers, high pressure builds into tomorrow. We've got some variable cloudiness, but we think tomorrow's going to be a pretty good day. It's going to warm up quite nicely and a few disturbances that run across the top end of the state as we cool off and head toward the weekend. Then it looks like things are really going to warm up by the time we hit Saturday and Sunday around here, especially into Monday, which is great news. We'll have some winds into the afternoon, 15 to 20 miles an hour, and things could be gusty at times with that uh, advisory in place for Pocatello and the American Falls Reservoir into tomorrow morning. Uh, we've got a chill in the air, so any kind of breeze is going to make that feel a little cooler. It'll probably feel like it's in the upper 20s, so the kids will need a jacket. And then you'll need to whip out the sunglasses for tomorrow afternoon because I think the sun's going to be out. So for the rest of today, uh, partly sunny and then a slight chance of a shower storm roaming, especially for the upper highlands and mountain communities. It'll be 66 in Preston and 60 at Lava. There's the frost advisory overnight, and that extends into St. Anthony where we're right there in the mid 30s and 5, 10 mile an hour breezes could make it feel a lot cooler. We're not going to get past 60 degrees for the afternoon. It'll be 54 in Jackson, 56 in Rexburg and 63 for Salmon. So you're in a bit of a warm spot there, but the majority of the frost tomorrow morning could be happening in your area from American Falls to Rigby once we hit 60 to 65 degrees for this afternoon. Partly sunny and still a remaining chance of a storm out there isolated. It'll be 39 tonight. We're into the 70s and a couple of disturbances to the north and we'll cool off just a tad Jenkins for Friday and Saturday, and it'll be 74 for Sunday. And then we're closer to 80 degrees by Monday and Tuesday. Pocatello, mid 60s, uh, limited shower chances and cooler for Friday in the kickoff of the Memorial Day weekend and warming up quite nicely. I'm ready to burn something on the grill. 65 and then it will be 38 for tonight. And as we head toward Friday morning, uh, 69 and then into the 70s. Pretty good, pretty good launch there into the 80 degree range for most of us. It'll be 59 for Rexburg this afternoon. Still shower chances roaming and salmon 63. We'll break through some of those clouds. 38 tonight and mid 70s tomorrow. And then we bounce back into the mid 70s by Sunday and into Monday. Jackson, you're going to take it down a notch. 58, some showers still around. You're going to be dipping into the 60s by Friday and Saturday, but I like this as we head toward Memorial Day, Linda, except for those chilly overnight lows. So frosty tonight, windy this afternoon. Look for the sunshine, and I'll be back in the morning at 5.